Next, I want to show you how to trim this faceted form. This form is like this mug that I've previously shown how to throw. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away a lot of the excess clay at the bottom to create a nice little foot on there. So, I'm going to use a Giffen grip and I'm going to use the 3 inch high arms. And I'm going to use the little hands. tighten this up. Now the trick with something that's faceted like this, you got to kind of watch out because you're going to probably hit the facets occasionally or the corner, so I'm trying not to squish it too badly. And as you begin to rotate it, just make sure that it looks like it, it is pretty much in the center. If you're on a corner, weirdly, it can kind of shove it over and it can be quite off center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my transition on the inside determine where the the uh, foot ring location is. So if you were to look at the inside of this, the foot matches the transition on the inside. So what I'm going to do here is I've marked it with my fingernail. Now I'm going to go down from the top to create the outside of the foot and then I'll trim that extra outside stuff away and then I'll go down from the top to do the inside of the foot. You always want to go down from the top not in from the side. If you go down from the top, both the outside and the inside, without taking your item off the wheel, your foot will be centered. But if you take your item off the wheel after you do the outside and before you do the inside, you don't put it back on exactly the right location, it could be off-centered then. So, I'm going down from the top to create that initial outside of the foot. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just angle this kind of upward. I don't typically round these, I just kind of angle them up so it has more of an angular look. Since it's an angular cup, I want the feeling of the foot trimming to kind of match it. Okay. And then here I'm going to do what I often do, I'm just going to give it a slight undercut on that foot. Again, that enables me to help kind of hold it by the foot when I am glazing. Okay, now that I've done the outside of the foot, I've trimmed away the outside, then I'm going to, again, carefully go down from the top. My hands are locked. I can rest my left hand on this and trim that away. So your order of trimming is always outside of the foot first, Trim away, up, smooth that transition, and then without taking it off the wheel, then you do the inside of the foot. And then I'm going to just compress and get the grog to kind of go down. If it's a little too dry and you can't compress it with your finger, you can always use a little water on your fingers. And then I'm going to compress right here where I trim that on the outside. There's my trimmed form, and this cup is now ready to get my handle on it.